So this is the patch that I was working on yesterday. Um, and if you saw that glitch video, the visual glitch kind of video I made, um, this is the patch I was using to do that. So I wanted to, I'm going to upload this now so you can come and have a go if you want. Uh, the slight disclaimer is that it might not work that well on the Quest um, and maybe some computers. Um, it seems to be running okay on mine, but occasionally I get this CPU warning. And I suppose because I'm recording, it's probably not helping. Um, but anyway, so what's happening is there is just some pretty simple sounds coming into this mixer. I'll just put this drum one up first because that's kind of a nice one to demonstrate what's happening. Um, when you first load into this patch, all that's going to happen is the sound is coming to this speaker. Once you um, want to start this chain, and what's happening is, I've explained it all here, but there's 24 speakers in this setup, not including this one. Um, and they're all being stepped in a chain because the sound comes in, this sound, uh, into the first one, it splits out of that echo unit, comes up into this filter, which then goes to the speaker, the other split from that echo unit is going into the next one and then it just splits along like that one by one so let me turn that on and then you'll see what i mean so if i turn this down now because we don't really need to hear this kind of dry sound you'll hear that it starts to make its way through this chain but not only that because that drum sound over there this one is being triggered every well every every one of these pulses essentially so i kind of every second or so it's moving along the chain, but then a new one's coming in. So you start getting this, this never ending chain of weird sounds <laughs> that move around. And it's quite fun just to move around the space and kind of see how it sounds in different places. This is where smooth movement would be quite nice actually, because then you could kind of almost uh, mix the sound by moving around. Um, that's something to think about, isn't it? Because at the moment, I, the teleport's quite coarse. So if you could move slowly, um, you could you could almost mix it with your head, I guess. Uh, right, but let's not get carried away, getting lost in that form. So what should I show you next? Okay, so the, these controllers, I have kind of explained everything. The, the echo units are in groups of six, right? So the sound comes into this first one, and then there's six speakers that are all this knob here will change the delay time of the first six. So they're not necessarily in sync. Um, if I change these to really drastic amounts, you'll see what I mean. So now that's, you know, you get that kind of glitchy sound when you change the delay time of a, a delay unit and a signal going through it. You can get those really cool, like whoop, 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 noises. Well, you can do those and then, and then it will pass that noise on to the next one. So you, you can get all sorts of craziness if you start messing with these. I guess what I could have done is put LFOs on these. Um, and I guess you could even do that yourself if you wanted. Um, just get an LFO like this. Take that, stick it in the output of that. And that's now going to make all these crazy sounds. Sometimes I like to put an amp after an LFO because sometimes it's hard for me to visualize what it's doing. Um, so if you do that, you can see what that's doing. Right. See, uh, I'm trying to explain this, but then I just start messing around and go, ooh, that's a cool sound. So let's, let's bring a few more sounds in. Um, this sound, actually, the second sound, if we listen to it on here. Oh, I forgot about that sound. This is just kind of a sine wave that's being modulated here. Yeah, which makes a pretty cool sound. This one's like an arpeggiator. Um, you only hear this if you turn this toggle on. Yeah. So you can you can control this this one independently. That won't affect the rest. It's more for you just to hear what's coming in. So let's do something. Let's put them all up. <laughs> That's crazy sounds, man.
This might get a little bit loud for you now. But yeah, you can come along and just change like the filters on these. So that's pretty cool. Um, but what's also really cool is if you start changing the visual effects. So like, uh, for instance, if you come to environment in the settings, not only is is this um, these this this universe module here is affecting obviously what's happening visually, but also what's happening on these settings is as well. But if you start to mess with these enough, like that, you get to the point where it kind of loses. I don't really know what happens, but it, it, you kind of lose all control eventually. So once you get to the point where the menu is like this and you can sort of see through it, that's when you know you've kind of lost it. And if you want to get back, you can just change the fog color like that. Let's just turn this down a bit because it's quite loud, isn't it? But yeah, just come in and have a go with it because it's pretty cool, I think. Um, uh, one last thing that I will show you. Yeah. See, if you turn this amp all the way up and you turn this delay unit off, you're going to get a cleaner LFO. And that can make some really cool sounds. It almost sounds like running water, doesn't it? That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. It genuinely sounds like water. It's amazing the sounds you can get out of this program, man. Like once you start faffing about these happy accidents are what it's all about. Listen to that. <laughs> it's like I'm pouring a drink. And I love the fact that as you move around in the space as well, you know, the more the more you move around, the more weird sounds you hear. So yeah, that's that's kind of it, I guess, for this video. Um, let me know what you think, and let me know how it runs for you, and let me know if you change it in any way because I'd be keen to see what you do with it um, cool let's leave it there oh actually let's let's upload it in this video so um, share let's do it come on let's do it share what numbers are gonna be I wonder I don't know where we're at. I think about 100 and, 100 and something 102 maybe 109 all right so we're up to 109 so come to 109 and you should find this patch. Let's just check it out. Confirm. Oh, actually, I just remembered. Something. Hmm. Is it? Do I need to toggle that? <laughs> why is that not making a noise? Oh, it hasn't loaded properly, that's why. Let's try again. Hmm.
Okay. Now it's working. I don't know what that was. Sometimes when you load a patch on the patch store, it doesn't bring up all the cables. So actually, I completely lied here. I, I said that when you load into this patch, the delay chain will be disabled. Once you press the toggle button below, it will begin to send the signal into the chain. Yeah, well, I lied because I uploaded it and I already had it activated. So, so whatever. Um, come and have a go. <laughs> All right, cheers.